Hi everyone! I thought I would do you a quick dummy clip construction video using our amazing new rose gold stainless steel clips. These are absolutely gorgeous and they've been tested and passed uh, EN 12586 so they are safe for you to use. So you get your nylon cord in this point, I, I'm using a two millimetre silky cord, which we have in the store. Everyone constructs dummy clips differently. There isn't a right or wrong way. Um, the right way is always the way that you've made it, then sent to your laboratory and had tested and had it come back as approved. So um, if you change the method that you use to construct it, you absolutely must send that new method off to be tested as well so i'm just showing you this one and this is the method i use so with nylon you can get your lighter and you can flash it over the ends to make you kind of end up making like these little bubbles or bobbles of like ambery colored melted goodness the issue is that they will sometimes go on fire but it's no bother so once you've got your blobs, see how it gets blobby. This is where you put your blobs together and you want them to meet, but not overlap. Um, this is to get a really good safe joint. And then when it gets to the slat, I squish it together. Ta this takes some practice, I'm not gonna lie. This, this method takes practice, but Honestly, once you, 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 once you've done it, you know, for a couple of weeks, you just, you just know, you just know that you've got it right. And look, there's my bond. It's really tight. Um, so yeah, it's, I, I, I enjoy using this method and I think it's worth persevering with, but what, whatever works for you guys best, then you're going to loop it through like so and then i put my first knot in your join is really secure but you just you just can never have <laughs> too many different barriers of safety when you're looking when you're working with dummy clips because you know these are for tiny babies so why would you not add extra protection for them so here we've got tight knot here so then i get some thread um again it's nylon it's not one i have in the shop it's actually one that my little girl uses to make some necklaces with but it works really well for this and it goes around our uh blunt and needle and then you position your knot in the middle and then you've got our design that I'm going to make up for you um this is not very good light but this is our um dusky pink it's an exclusive color to us that I absolutely adore and it's probably one of the colors we sell most of um it's just such a pretty subtle pink and it goes with everything so now is the point where you have to do your big tug because you've got to get this bead over your knot but as we know silicone is stretchy so that is not an issue and there we go so 15 millimeter bead there this design i'm going to use three of the 15 mils here and again you're just kind of pulling them you're pulling them over that join still which is good then i've got a 12 mil in the same dusky pink um so i'm gonna put two i think of those on And then I'm going to pair it with, uh, this is our Dove Grey. It's an, another exclusive colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's um, quite a lot paler than our light grey. Um, oh, 
it's yeah i'm really into muted colors um i i just i just really like using them and they and they obviously these they just go with um like all all other colors that you may want to use even if you're you kind of having lots of bright beads in the design something like a dusky pink uh dusky pink or the dove gray work really well so here i've got the number of beads that i want you can see that my beads are quite tight up together and that's because they actually need to be fairly firmly together uh, for testing but you will know this anyway so then i'm going to finish it with a 15 mil millimeter wood bead these have been en 12586 certified as well as en 71 certified and I can't stress the importance of having an EN12586 certified end bead. Um, there are lots and lots and lots of wood beads on the market that can pass an EN71 test, but the testing method for dummy clips is completely different. Uh, and the plate test and so many other wood beads smash and fail. And then obviously it's a, a hazard to your baby. So you must, must make sure that wherever you're getting this from that um, not only is it EN12586 certified but you have seen the certification. So then I pop that on the end, pull tight so that I get my beads smushed up together. I make a loop, I tie it off, I pull it tight, then I just snip off my lovely pink string and here we have a finished dummy clip so it can go like this so and just to show you as you know dummy clips are ha, have very very strict regulations around them which is frankly fantastic um and they cannot be more than 22 centimeters from the base of the clip here and to the end of the loop here and you've got to pull it taut so here I don't know if you can see but this dummy clip is actually 21 centimeters which I'm cool with and the loop itself can't be any more than a 110 millimeters so which is quite long anyway uh, and mine usually come in yeah about seven centimeters so um, so you've made you've constructed your dummy clip there I think it just looks so delicate and pretty with the rose gold, um, all your component parts. And we also sell uh, the dummy clip um, to the holder safety cards. Uh, these are really important. They've got really, really specific wording uh, on the back that absolutely has to go out with every dummy clip in order for it to be compliant. If it doesn't contain the exact wording, um, you will get pulled up on it by trading standards um, and it and it will be classed as a non-compliant clip it's it's that serious um, so if if you're you don't feel confident creating your own uh, cards that will go out then we sell these in the shop there's space for you to add your sticker your business name and address again any dummy clip you make must be able to be traceable back to your business and if you do batch code there's a little space where you can pop your batch code as well so one lovely dummy clip hope that helps everyone bye